Have you ever wondered what you would do without your phone? Or what about the internet? No phone calls or messages, no emails, no Netflix or YouTube, not even Google Maps. What? So that is right guys, we have challenged ourselves to a complete digital detox, none of that stuff for an entire 72 hours. So this has come off the back of all the stress that we've had over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. If you've missed it, go check out that video. Having a lot of time sitting around waiting for something to happen has made us obsessively glued to our screens. I got obsessed with checking for updates all the time, always checking my messages, my emails. I kind of just need to... Just take a break. The only thing will be you guys in this camera. Yeah, nothing from the outside world. I think we just need to listen to our bodies. So like if we're hungry, we eat. If we're tired, we sleep. How cool is that? This is like, it, this is going back to our like a primal instinct now. I'm gonna just wanna eat all Man the time. hungry, make me food. <laughs> <laughs> right, we gotta go turn all this stuff off. I'm hungry right now. I let's want go. breakfast. Okay, let's go. All right, partner. <laughs> the time has come. This needs to be turned off. I know. It's just double turn checking off, turn the off, last turn off, emails. Turn off. No, uh. this is it, guys. Power off. Yes, please. I'm now your turn. I'm turning. I'm turning. So it's lunchtime on day one. When the sun is the highest in the sky on Thursday, that'll be like noon time, and we'll we'll accept that as a kind of like a three day. When was the last time you looked at the sun to tell the time? Never, ever, ever. So this will be fun. Thank you to our local Chinese that provided us with this box. Are they both gonna fit in there? I feel like <gasps> my phone doesn't fit. <laughs> what is your? Hello. Why is my phone so big? I'm Keely's phone. Right, Billy, my phone's too big. Right, lots of sellotape. Be together. careful. Take my case off. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Just jamming it in. Eh? Right. It's definitely off. Is mine off? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's Demon. not. It's <laughs> <laughs> never turned it off before. Phones have an off button. Akshay, shay. Where's the flip is the end of this? And this is duct tape, no task. Duct tape, duct tape. Um, the, the, the. They're getting duct tape shot. Do not open. Donut? Donut open? Okay. Donuts in here? Oh my word. What am I gonna do for three okay, days with this guy this hyped? Mm -hmm. Is there a demon coming out of you? <laughs> I wrote void if broken. I don't know okay. what that means. Okay. But... Our phones are wet, our laptops are off, they're in the bags, the tablet's off. What do I do right now? Um yeah, I don't know. Go for a walk. I I'm feeling a little bit anxious right now. Me too. We also need to do a bit of driving while we're on this digital detox. Mm -hmm. So for that, we bought a map of Romania and we spent a little bit of time earlier. Yes, that's right, Philly and Keely are somewhat prepared. There's mm -hmm. something about a map as well. Yeah, we did it in Ireland. We did like a little mini series of Wild Atlantic Way with a map only. So we did really love that. So I'm quite looking forward to doing the same with Romania. So. I don't know, you got us lost quite a lot. Akshesh. Guys, the sun is shining. I'm feeling so positive right now. I'm feeling pretty good. We got this, no sweat. As you can hear, we parked next to a river. So I thought, what better way to start the path to enlightenment than refreshing ourselves with Don't some cold say water? The path to enlightenment. People are going to think we're being serious. We are. This is Guys, the path. Guys, we're just trying to disconnect. We're not total hippies. So the path to enlightenment <laughs> lies at the bottom of this river. So let's go. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I just tied my shoelaces and went to hop out of the van and went and grabbed my phone case and then I was like, oh, I have no phone. And then, and then it was like, ah, it felt weird. It's like, <laughs> I need my phone to go for this walk. On you go. Oh, sorry. I don't think they're bilberries either. Eat it. Do I don't know. Of course not. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you'll never guess what I ate yesterday. She ate one of the dog biscuits. I ate a dog biscuit. <laughs> Look, we bought, obviously I didn't eat the dog food, which we all joked about last week, I'd eat three kilograms of dog food, but the dog biscuits we bought are pure, are vegan ones, all plant-based, so I just wanted this, this smell good. I would have dipped it in a cup of tea, it was pretty good. <laughs> oh Lord, okay, let's keep walking. I think I'm gonna have to climb over this. No, you're, good. you're not going into it. Do it for the people at home, they're wondering what's in this. I don't think anyone was wondering what, this is a really big thorny thing, don't touch that. That's thorny. Oh no, it's doing the bugs. Get away. First thing I did. <laughs> 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 I slipped. Gilly, you're just a an infinite source of entertainment.
Okay, I'll see you later. No, I'll, I'll come back. Bye, I'll see you later. Bye. I thought bye. You were behind me. I found something that you can eat. I'm allowed to eat it. Oh, Billy, how am I meant to catch that? <laughs> oh god, I didn't mean to bite into it, but it bit and it zested in my mouth. Oh, that's icy cold. That's very cold. That's very mountainous cold. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Billy, that was very cold, that was very cold. Is that cold? Did you know that was so cold? Ah, no! Billy's burning more, it's getting hotter. No. <laughs> My face is numb. Now that we've got our weekly wash, and we're obviously we must be at least two hours in right now, right? Ten minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes? What? <laughs> what are you gonna do for the next 71 hours and 50 minutes? <laughs> This tree, right, what I thought was really cool is this tree looks dead, but I don't know. There's all these like new tree shoots coming out, so like the tree's not actually dead. There's all this new new trees. It's is cool. that symbolic? Oh let's try and find what that's symbolic of. It's cool that it's not really dead, new life is still coming from it, it's nice. Alright navigator, where to? So I'm not going to lie, I don't even know if we're going left or right. Guys, it's going to be a long 72 hours. I think we go right. Excuse me, um, do you know of any good park for nights around here? <laughs> <laughs> what a douche. A few moments later. Okay, so I obviously got us lost, but the good thing is I got us lost and accidentally brought us to some sort of national park. Anyway, we just kept driving for a while hoping we would find somewhere to pull in and we have. We've found a beautiful little spot. It's made me hop out so that I can guide him here, so let me just do that first. Windy mountain road, lay by to the side, river down here, forest, not bad. This place is incredible. This is beautiful. If we're not going to transcend here, we're not going to transcend we're anywhere. We're not transcending, we're, transcending. we're not enlightening. We're entering a new astral plane of our existence. We're just chilling out and connecting with nature. Stop okay, making okay. us sound crazy. I can't wait to transcend. I don't know what I'm going to transcend into, maybe a deer. <laughs> okay, so I would say that you are 62 and a half inches. What are you doing? You make yourself shorter. 6'4", I knew it. Oh, shut up. You've shrank. <laughs> what? I've grew half an inch and you've I'm shrank six an inch. Four. <laughs> so, during this 72 hour digital detox we're doing, it is super important for me that I learn how to still my mind. Because, guys, you know I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. But the truth is, I wouldn't even know where to start with that. Which is why I'm super grateful that Skillshare are sponsoring today's video. Because just before we turned off all our tech, I actually completed a course on there called Five Steps to Ease Stress with Mindful Meditation. If you guys don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community. It's got thousands of classes for people who want to skill up on something, invest in themselves, explore something new and creative. So if there's a skill you want to learn, Skillshare is the place for you, whether it's photography skills, doing like meditation stuff like I'm trying. So if you're interested in Skillshare, you can take this opportunity to gain complete access to the entire class library for free for 30 days. So check the link in our description if you're interested in that, because I'm super excited to try this meditation thing. I mean, I've literally no idea how this is going to go, but I'm excited to try. So I'm going to try meditating. I practiced a bit before this to try and like get my brain used to it. Like when we went and did laundry, I did some. Um, so this will be my first time trying to do it like properly on this digital detox. Still my mind. What are you doing in the background? Oh, hello. I've convinced Philly to come outside and do it with me. So let's try. So first of all, obviously you shut your eyes and stuff. And this one's just all about focusing on your breathing. So we have no idea what time it is. 
it's dark that's all I know so I don't know it could be seven o'clock it could be eleven o'clock <laughs> I'm tired Me too. it's dark it's bedtime we'll see you in the morning sleep tight put your phone away I mean don't don't put your phone away watch finish the, this video watch the rest of the video and then put your phone away okay bye <laughs> good night good morning Bright lights. Ah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> My lady. My lord. <laughs> That's right. You don't forget it. Wow. <laughs> Look at that face. I'm scared. We're going for a swim. Previously, mm -hmm. we'd go in cold water and come out and it's warm. It ain't warm, hurt. 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 It ain't warm, hurt. Ain't, ain't warm, hurt. Ain't warm, hurt. Right, let's go. Tell you what, it's not. It ain't warm, hurt. We always say we never regret a swim. <laughs> Until so now. I'm pre regretting it. Let's see how I feel after it. <laughs> <laughs> never regret a swim. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Was that cold? I can't hear. <laughs> okay, your turn. <laughs> Are you meditating? I'm ascending! <laughs> 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 you alive? Feel good? That was good actually! I feel good too! <laughs> it's official guys. You never regress with You actually don't. Even though that was Baltic and my soul left my body for a slight moment. <laughs> <laughs> Please! This week, go find somewhere a real body of water to dip in. Go for a cold water swim and come back and tell us, did you regret it? Um, because I'm sure you won't. I need a cup of tea though and to get out of this. <gasps> it's gonna take us a while to get some heat back in her body. Maybe the diesel heater's gonna come out. No. Oh. Have you achieved enlightenment? No. <laughs> Far out! How did you get in front of me? <laughs> I meant to be listening to my sounds and I didn't hear you come in front of me. <laughs> obviously not very observant, are you? obviously not very astute. I'm really struggling today. I keep thinking. <laughs> I even keep thinking about what I'm going to say to the camera about meditating if we turn the camera on later. I keep diving in after my thoughts and swimming after them. Okay, get back to your, um. your zen. <laughs> <laughs> I think climbing's like meditation. Like, see when you're on the wall, you literally aren't thinking about anything except where you're putting your hand. You're completely focused on the moment, in that present, in what you're touching, and what you're feeling, and how your body is. I think climbing's like meditative therapy. I encourage more people to try climbing. Try wild swimming and try climbing, you know. You'll be better people. <laughs> okay, that's, that's Keely's thought for the day. <laughs> Hello. So it got considerably colder in the van last night. It was like 18 degrees. I mean, I was happy. I'm feeling like I want some cozy food. So I've decided I'm going to make a broth. Are you cool with that? I'm cool with a nice, A nice hearty soup. As long as it's not spaghetti bolognese. Pischetti, null and bears. Pischetti, Okay, right, you don't need, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna let that stew for a while. But do my face is really close to this lens. I forgot I zoomed in. I zoomed right back out from that situation. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's been a, a long time since I've won this game. Have your tea. Got it. I'm mentally ready. So Rock, paper, scissors to go first. Okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's the only thing you're going to win tonight. Yeah. My turn. Any time today. Okay, fine. I'll put that one down. You're at your turn. Oh, but, but this time, and this time, and this time. 
<laughs> Excuse me? So now we're on to Rummy Cub. It's not really a broth now. It's a broth that I blended, okay? Oh, look at that, baby. The tiniest spin in I the world. I just need a first reaction. Definitely could hold the wallpaper up, lad. So obviously today we have a tendency to talk to the camera a lot. We've replaced picking up our phones and checking our phones every two seconds to picking up the camera and talking to it every two seconds. So we're taking tomorrow off camera, which is Wednesday, and we'll pick you guys up on Thursday. Yeah. So, I've had a bit of an issue. A bit? A big bit. Everything was going swimmingly. And then we tried to drive up this hill towards a World Heritage Site. You know, yeah. see some sites, see some ruins. And our van broke down. On the hill. In the middle of nowhere, in a national park. This isn't even a road on the map. We went beyond the road to try and find the heritage site. And now we've broke down. Everything was fine until... I went to change gear and then the clutch didn't come out and then that was it. There was a lot of smoke. I thought our engine was on fire for a minute but I think it was just the clutch like melting or something. I don't even understand what a clutch does. We're stuck up this hill. I don't know if you can see Martha. She's there somewhere and we're going to have to try and roll back down the hill. Why can't things just go like right for once? You know? I mean, and there's no one here. That's a good thing because it means we can roll down the hill, but it's a bad thing because it means we can't try and get anyone for help. And it, the sun's coming down. We need to go do it now while there's still daylight. Let's go. Let's go. I meant to walk down this road ahead of him and basically alert people to the fact that there's a big van rolling behind me. And so begins the descent. Honestly guys, so friggin' stupid. <sighs> Big bend here, but I've skied it out, there's no cars. It's good. So are we rolling down front ways? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Scary. It's just the clutch man is gone. We're just gonna have to freewheel it down and just like ride the brakes, which I know is not good for the brakes, but thankfully we got turned there. That was a bit scary. I feel sick. I feel sick too. I feel sick. Could this not have happened us in a city or in a town and not? In a Romanian mountain. In a Romanian mountain in the middle of nowhere. That's not even on the maps. That we don't have our phones turned on for. <laughs> Okay, so we just passed a fire station and there was a Romanian guy so I went and tried to talk to him. Obviously I don't have Google Translate which I would have on my phone and said mechanic in various different accents and then he was like mechanic uh, 50 kilometers and I was like uh, tow truck call and he was like 50 kilometers because he obviously couldn't tell our van was actually broken because we were rolling it down the hill. I'm gonna try as much as possible I'm to stubborn. see if we can do this without our phones. I could maybe get it into second and we could just go to RST in second. Do you wanna try? Are we in third gear? We're in third gear, which means that... We can get to RST. Well, as long as we don't stop. <laughs> okay. You know, we said we we're gonna do 72 hours without our phones, so this just adds another dimension to the video, right? <laughs> we'll try, guys, we will try. Okay, back to the sheep. The sheep! So Kaylee wants to keep the phones off. I want to turn the phone on to call the mechanic. So we compromised and we're keeping the phones off. Oh, sheesh, you. What can I say? When I say I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it, you know? We're still rolling down this road at 30. Shit, I don't know where we are, man. Oh, oh, oh I can't stop. Just say 
this has got pretty stressful. There were little cobbledy streets, there were roadworks, there was lots of stuff happening and we were just kind of rolling and we need to not stop. We're now in first gear, crawling with loads of cars overtaking us. Trying to get somewhere we can park because there's roadworks and stuff everywhere that there's nowhere to pull in. Arr! This is where we're gonna be parking. Man, oh man. First gear, baby. So here's potentially our home for the next. <laughs> that was stressful, man. Yeah. That whole ordeal was super stressful. Now we need to figure out where there's a mechanic. I didn't think we were going to make it. Our clutch, like, yeah, it's hanging on by a thread. I think the thread snapped when we pulled into Cowpland. <laughs> I went in, got myself a chocolate bar, asked around. So we found out that there are mechanics here in this place. A guy we met gave us his phone number in case we needed Romanian translation. So we wrote that on a piece of paper. We can go for a walk in the morning and see if we can figure out where those mechanic places are. Oh, we should have asked him what the Romanian word for clutch was when we were with him. It's okay, we've got his number, we can... Oh, we can't! Oh, we can't! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna just turn in, I think. I love you. I love you too. Yay! That's good. Okay, no night. Oh, it's a misty morning. Good morning, gorgeous. Alright. It really seems like we're suckers for punishment here. If you ever stuck in an unknown country that you've never been to before you don't have a phone and you don't speak the language we're going to show you what you have to do <laughs> Kilias went into Kaufland for a poo and also to get somebody to write a note in Romanian saying that her van has broken down we think it's a clutch and we might need a tow truck we'll see if she gets it oh she's coming back I'm back how did that go? I have a note the girl didn't know what a clutch was, so she had to look up the word for clutch. She didn't know what I was saying, but I, th I think we've got a note that hopefully makes sense. Let me see. I can't make out what any of these words are. I think this is similar to the word Spanish word ayuda for help, so I think this might be help. There you go, we've got a note. Ignore the mess of the front here. That's the bag of dog guineas. But yeah, look, <laughs> that's our clutch. It's meant to come out. Off you go. Bloody idiots. Stay safe. Well, you can't really go anywhere. Three hours later. All right, fam. We're back at the van. We just spent the last three hours walking around this town, going to every single mechanic with our note. Everybody was super nice and tried to help us. And finally, we got to a mechanic on the other side of the town that can fix it, hopefully. The only problem is he doesn't have a tow truck, which means that we're going to have to try and get the van to him. So I'm hoping that we can jump it in the first and drive there. The time has come. The time has come. Come to me. I'm coming in, guys. I'm coming in. Why can't we have a video that ends on a high? That'd I know. Be really nice. Good times it? are right around the corner, I can tell. You can see this is still closed. It is now Thursday. 72 hours have passed. It's time to open these bad boys up. So what have you learned throughout this whole process? What I've learned is that our life would have been a lot easier since yesterday if we had our phones. Uh, so it's a good tool to communicate, aka our friends we're meant to be meeting who still don't know that we're not there. Uh, online banking, Google Translate, reviews for mechanics, it's great for all of that stuff. So the phone can be a tool for great things and convenience, but the, to the phone can also just waste hours of my life when I scroll through Instagram. I don't even feel good after Instagram, no offence to you as an app, but... These apps are designed to keep you like in that form of consumption, you know? Yeah, it is. It's just a consumption cycle. I am in control of the technology. It's yes, not in are. control of me. I'm in control of you. <laughs> this is not the way we hoped this video would go. I know. I've hoped this video would be so peaceful, guys. I um, thought we were going to end this by a river, like ascending. Like, <laughs> we didn't we, ascend. We didn't achieve enlightenment. <laughs> These are all probably there like, guys, the second you broke down, you should have turned on your phone and not been so stubborn. But what can I say? We're committed to the cause. Give you me know? that. What are you? I don't know. It's very sticky. Right, right, that's enough. Let's finish the video first. You're going to have to come back next week and see what the frig happens with this van. Because we don't know. You know as much as we do right now. Yeah, literally. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. I'm thinking it's like 12.05. 11 minutes past 12. Let's get this van started then. Let's try.